to another video. I have a few things to share with you to start off this vlog. First off, that milk that I got last vlog, the milked walnuts one, it's really good. I mean, it tastes kind of similar to almond milk and oat milk, so no difference there in my opinion. Maybe like an oat milk and an almond milk mixed, I don't know. Two, I got a steamer. It's like a travel steamer that I wanted to bring on my trip. Sorry, my hair looks super crazy. I'm going to get it done today and I straightened it yesterday. So it kind of just looks a little flat and like not the best. Anyways, I got this travel steamer and I wanted to try it out and see how it works. I'm going to bring it on my trip. I think it's the perfect size. Here's my phone next to it. So I think it's a really good size and it will travel well, but I want to see how it works. So I'm going to try it on a shirt. I don't know how to work it. Grab the instructions. This is like also weird that I got off of Amazon that I really feel like I need to share because I mean, I don't know about you girls. This is for girls. I know that maybe some guys watch my videos. I don't know. But this is for girls. I know that when you wear leggings or just like active wear, anything that's tight to your body, it can be kind of annoying seeing like the underwear line. This might be too much information, but I really feel like I need to share these because they were 15 bucks for a pack of five off Amazon and they are the best seamless underwear that I have ever found. They don't roll down or like kind of like clump up and like roll, if you know what I mean, around the waistband. Anyways. I got a two pack. They are the best seamless underwear I've ever discovered in my life from Amazon. And at first I was like, these don't even look seamless because they have that band on it. This is what they look like. You cannot see them under leggings, biker shorts, anything. And I've tried it with thin fabric biker shorts. You can't see them. These fabric biker shorts, I wore them to the gym the other day and you cannot see the underwear underneath them. I wanted to share that just in case any of you girls are like on a hunt for seamless underwear to like wear under tight fitting clothes that you can't see, doesn't roll down, doesn't move around, nothing and you still feel like secure and it's like firm to your body. I highly recommend, link it down below. That's my little spiel. I'm gonna try and steam. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna try and steam this. Actually, so first before I do that, I also wanted to say that, so I tried the Sivan Lux Unfiltered Self Tanning Cream last night and I got it in the Santal set. And I will post pictures of my before, immediately after application and this morning and I really I like it I feel like it kind of enhanced my tan and with continued use I feel like it would just be really good it's very hydrating it didn't transfer to my bed sheets and I got in bed 20 minutes after applying it and that's huge it still kind of smells a little bit like a tan I asked Christian my boyfriend how it smelt and he said it still kind of smells like a tan so still kind of smells like a tan but I really like it and I'm gonna bring it on my trip for keeping my tan and not having to necessarily apply like a full self tanner because I don't want to mid trip exfoliate my whole entire body and then reapply a self tanner. I just am very like against that. And I'm gonna be gone for 10 or 11 days and I self tan every seven days. So I definitely wanted to try it before I just went on my trip and started using it. I do need to apply it in circular motions. And then I put like an extra layer of moisturizer on like my knees and elbows. And then I wash my hands twice with antibacterial soap. And what I'll do with my hands is I'll take a brush of my self tanner and I'll just use my self tanner on my hands because I, f I don't know how else to use this lotion on my hands, if that makes sense. So far, I rate it like a 10 out of 10. It's really good. So I heard you're supposed to use it like every day for like five days or until you get your desired color and then every other day after i don't know we'll see but yeah so now onto the steamer i'm gonna try steaming this it's not super wrinkly the fabric is wrinkly as is but i just want to learn how to use it 
before I just bring it on my trip and wing it. I'm getting my hair done today. Did I mention that? I'm getting my hair done today, so this will be taken care of. I'm only getting a partial though. I'm gonna start doing partials every other time that I go and get my hair done because I kind of want to help the underneath. There's something really nice to have for shirts that get really wrinkly. I think it's hard to tell on this shirt because it's just it's a wrinkly fabric anyway, but there's no watermarks on it, which is good. I'll link it down below just in case you guys want it. Even not for travel because it's so small and it will fit anywhere and it's perfect for an apartment instead of those big ones. I remember when I worked at Hollister, I had to steam clothes and it was like a huge thing. This is perfect. Perfect for travel, perfect for home, easy storage. It's a lot later. I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru and it's pouring down rain. Hi, welcome to Chick-fil-A. My name is Claire. How may I serve you today? Hi, can I do a number six eight count meal? Um, eight count. And what would you like to drink with that meal? Can I do a vanilla iced coffee? Yeah, so I'm in the line. I got my hair done uh, by Jess at Sela Luca Salon. I'll leave her Instagram right here. So what I get is I get baby lights, a root tap and these she leaves out of the root tab so a money piece and then she tones it all over but i only got a partial so i didn't get my full head this time which i'm gonna start doing just to get the underneath sorry i look like oily just to get the underneath part of my hair healthier and thicker stronger healthier just overall she did such a good job she always does and i got like a little bit cut off you can't even tell because it's so long. I have some stuff I need to show you when I get back, so I'll talk to you then. Okay, I just got home from getting my hair done, running to Target, got some Chick-fil-A dinner, had to get a coffee because we're having people over to pregame. We're all getting together and going out for drinks at a few trendy bars and it'll be a lot of fun to just show you some new hair care products that i got at the grocery store grocery store i wanted to show you some new hair care <laughs> you're purposely going like no baby it's psychotic i wanted to show you some stuff that i got at the hair salon because i uh... <laughs> he's doing that on purpose i was asking i was talking to jess my hairdresser she recommended these products that I'm about to show you because I've been using Olaplex and it's just not doing it for me. It's just, <laughs> it's just not doing it for me at all. And I was talking to her and she was like, I don't understand the hype about it. <laughs> she doesn't understand the hype of Olaplex either and neither do I. I love the hair mask. I think it's incredible, but the shampoo and conditioner just doesn't really do anything for my hair. So I wanted to switch things up I can't throw away the rest of the shampoo and conditioner that I have left of Olaplex, so I'm gonna use it here and there and probably bring it on my trip with me at the end of this month, just so the money doesn't go to waste, but I definitely wanted to pick up something new. So she recommended the Kerasoft brand. I use the Kerasoft purple shampoo every few washes to keep the blonde looking like this. But I got the Kerastase. I can't pronounce any of this, but it is meant for... You're just going to pace back and forth. Okay. It is meant for people that color their hair lighter. So here is what it looks like. I'll link all these products down below. And I also got the conditioner. So this is what it looks like. I'll obviously link all these products down below. And I was traveling through the... <laughs> TikTok hair care side of TikTok, I guess. And one girl said that it is important to use a leave-in conditioner even after you've already styled your hair if you're going back in to restyle your hair. And I thought that was so interesting, but you have to find a specific one that can be used on damp hair and also dry hair. So this is one of those. Cool Treatment Fiber Quality Renewal Care. 
So I'm excited to try this on hair that's already been dried or for restyling purposes because when I restyle curls, obviously it's more damaging. So you wanna add an extra layer of that leave-in conditioner. Okay, anyways, I will keep you guys updated on this. I just wanted to let you know that I was so just wanting to try Olaplex in the beginning and then after using it, I just, it wasn't doing anything for my hair. I feel like my hair actually started to look worse and especially when I didn't blow dry my hair, it just looked really dry and bad. So I'll link it down below. I need to, actually I don't think I need to yet. I'll probably start getting ready for tonight and everyone coming over in probably the next 45 minutes and pick out an outfit i have no idea what i'm wearing and i'll probably bring you guys along for certain clips of the night yeah but i just wanted to talk about this new stuff that i got at the hair salon just in case you guys feel the same way about olaplex not doing anything for your hair what are your thoughts on it let me know in the comments do you guys love olaplex or you don't i just got all ready it's almost nine o'clock did my hair and makeup and got dressed. I'm waiting on everyone to get here. I guess I'll show you what I'm wearing if you're interested. I did just get the jeans that I'm wearing from Misguided. So we'll start with the bodysuit. It's just a plain ribbed bodysuit from Forever 21. And then these jeans, which are a little bit cropped on the shorter side and I am 5'2". I'm really short and a lot of people think I'm taller than I am. I'm only 5'2". I'm really short and people have actually thought that I'm like 5'7". from my YouTube videos and no, I'm short. I'm 5'2". I have a long torso. I have short legs. I know my legs can sometimes look a little long in videos and I may look taller but nope. 5'2", very short over here. So I think these are short, like the petite size and misguided. The petite sizes are for people that are around 5'2", 5'3". So I think they're supposed to hit at this length. But I really do love the color. I love the distressing of these jeans and I love how they fit in the waist. I have a really hard time finding jeans that fit me in the waist and aren't ginormous my hips don't like i am kind of a little bit more on the boxier side i definitely don't have like a huge hourglass figure but it is hard to find jeans that don't fit me at the waist and they fit me here if that makes sense so i really do like these jeans they're just a little bit cropped at the bottom and then my necklace is from Lily Class. That's that and I'll show you my shoes. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear. I think I'm gonna wear black shoes because I'm gonna carry this black bag. I think I'm the most casual one out of everyone. I have a candle lit and I'm gonna cut up some lines because we're gonna take some shots before. I got this cutting board from Target. I'm gonna put some salt in here and then I just set up our shot glasses and then maya is bringing 818 tequila which is kendall jenner's tequila if you didn't know and i'm excited to try it
Okay, it's the next day. I just put a bathing suit on and we're gonna go down to the pool. I know, shocker. We're having some people over to hang out with us as well. And then we'll probably grill out because there's a grill outside by the pool. So that's what we're doing today. I'm drinking another coffee. And yeah, Maya should be here any second. And then Taylor will be here soon too. So yeah, happy Sunday. It is a lot later in the day. I actually need to get to bed. Um, we hung out by the pool today, came back, cooked burgers, watched F Boy Island. <laughs> it's really good. We got through two episodes. It's so good. I don't even know if it's on Netflix, Hulu, I don't know. And we got Chipotle for dinner, so I have leftovers, so I'm gonna bring it for lunch at work tomorrow. And then meal prep my lunches for the rest of the week tomorrow when I get home But I actually have to wake up at like 4 30 in the morning tomorrow because I have to be to work by 6 we have someone coming to fix our Motor in our air conditioning unit slash heat unit. I don't know. I have to be there at 6 to let them in and Show them where it is just monitor it. So I have to be up really early then I'll get off of work early. So I'll go to the grocery store then and get all my stuff ready for the week when I get off of work at three tomorrow. So that's a perk of getting there early. I actually would prefer to have like a seven to four work day instead of an 8.30 to 5.30, it actually would just be incredible. I am a morning person, huge morning person, so I would much rather wake up earlier and get my work day done than start at 8.30 and work till 5 30. anyways i just wanted to end off this vlog here hope you guys enjoyed make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>